Hell yes, it's been a while since I've done one. Of oh fuck me, I'm getting really grey. Anyway, it's uh, it's been one of the, it's been a while since I did one of these videos, and the reason I'm doing this one is mainly because, as you probably guessed, Russell Brand has come out just I predicted back in October 2013 that he was his whole entire revolution was nothing other than a revolution to revolve you back into the system to take the people who were waking up and to revolve them back into the system particularly as I pointed out in many blog posts and interviews that he was trying to get people back who were waking up back into the left-wing political system and that's just what happened that's just how it panned out with him meeting Milbrand and endorsing both the Green Party in Brighton, who are the Socialist Workers Party with a new name. They're just an extreme left-wing party. And they they if you want to trust them, you're very foolish as well, because we had them in government for two, two terms in Ireland. They were an absolute catastrophe. They didn't do anything they said they would, and they protected the bankers. And they basically brought in all these new taxes that the other parties used them to get those taxes through. So they're, 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 they're part of this, they're, they're shills as well. Now, then we have, now I'm saying you should vote Labour to take on the Conservatives. So this was always going to happen, and uh, it'd be easy for me to gloat and say, haha, I told you so, I'm the smartest guy in the world, while people like David Icke and Alex Jones practically had their tongues up his backside. Uh, now, in the early days when he first came out, my attitude was, oh, well, maybe he's a celebrity who's just had a sincere uh, you know, political awakening and so on. But then when I saw who he was connected with, particularly through the Goldsmith family and the New Statesman magazine, the London School of Economics. This was pure Fabianism. He had he'd probably been offered this gig in order to kind of uh, restore his restoration following the catastrophe that happened for him on the Jonathan Ross show when both of them called up it, Andrew Sachs, the guy who played Manuel on Faulty Towers, and Russell Brand, the feminist, said something like... Uh, she she was consensual and wasn't menstrual. She was consensual and wasn't menstrual. You know that 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 like infantile four year old humor that he does, nine year old playground humor that he does, and so he, this was probably part of his career restoration. He'll probably feck off to America now and become get involved in Occupy to steer people or something like Occupy to steer people back into the Democrat Party in the same way he got involved in Anonymous to steer people back into the Labour Party in, in the UK. There was never going to be any other way. It was always going to pan out like this. So if you fell for this, what does this tell you? Well, it tells you that you've learned a very important lesson here. What you've learned more than anything else is that you cannot trust anyone they give you. And that doesn't only include in the mainstream media. I would say especially in the alternative media. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust me. Don't trust anyone. Don't trust anyone. Especially anyone who tells you exactly what you want to hear and validates your, uh, con you know, your, your confirmation bias about alternative subjects as well. Because it's very easy for a, for a, you know, a shithead to, to win you over by telling you what you want to hear rather than saying, oh, will you ever get cop on? This is a load of bullshit. Now, I'm probably the only person in the scene who does that. I'm probably the only person who said things like, Hampstead was clearly a, a load of bullshit. How, how could you actually f believe that? And I got attacked for it. I got attacked by Russell Brand. I got attacked by the, God help us, the flat earth bunch. And that's okay. This is okay. But the ones who, the ones who constantly either say nothing and ride the kind of alternative gravy train donate button or nail their masks their mat their colours to every like alternative mask, including Russell Brand, the flat aired stuff and all the other kinds of things are probably people you shouldn't trust. Because uh, it's the classic democracy thing, isn't it? Tell me what you want and uh, vote for me and I'll give it to you and then never give it to you. It's just all you're just being used. Now so some people like one guy was on my my Facebook page, he's actually in a state of shock. He cannot believe that he was so badly duped by Russell Brand. Now, the reason why he's in that state of shock is because it says more about him putting his faith in other people than putting faith in himself. And that's the lesson we have to learn from all this. Don't go around saying, oh, Thomas Sheridan was right about Russell Brand from day one. He, he's great. I don't want that. What I want from you is to say, 
I'm not going to follow anyone ever again. I'm not going to be duped ever again. I'm not going to look for gurus ever again. I'm not going to look for leaders ever again. I'm not going to look for saviors and messiahs ever again. I'm only going to look after myself and follow my own intuition in here. And then that's it. And you'll be okay then. That's what, you, that's what you're supposed to do. So that's the end of Russell Brand in terms of him being a revolutionary. You see, cults do this as well. You see, there's, there's two parts to this. There's one to get the intelligent people that followed Russell Brand to jump out and say, I can't believe I was duped. And they'll have a kind of a, a post-traumatic stress. But cult leaders do this as well. Every so often, they betray the cult, the cult membership. And this is two functions. One, to get rid of the ones who can think for themselves, because they're the last people you need in a cult, which is what Russell Brand has done with the Ed Mingrum thing. Uh, Miller Brand and Labour thing, and secondly, to get the ones who are who still would, who turn a blind eye to that, the most crazed fanatics to to entrench themselves deeper within the lie, deeper within the within the logical fallacy of the cult or the political hypocrisy, and that's the purpose of that. So we'll be talking about this on my radio show, The Velocity of Now. That's at eleven to midnight this coming Wednesday and uh, of course I'll be doing the jokey stuff as well because to me comedy is a comedy along with creativity is the only path we have left to like make a meaningful world for the human race the political system if you haven't learned after Russell Brand stabbing you all in the back and he didn't because this was planned from day one remember he, he's not a turncoat I called this from day one because I saw how it was planned from day one but either way that's it. And uh, get on with your life. Enjoy your life. And don't spend too much time worrying about him. And certainly, whatever you do, don't allow people to do this to you ever again. Stay independent. Stay an insurgent, but stay independent. Because at the end of the day, the only person that could ever save your ass is yourself and no one else. It's your monomyth, your personal saga, your personal story. Be inspired by others, absolutely, but do not put absolute faith or, or a lot of faith in someone else. The only person at the end of the day who will ever save you is the guy that you're looking at, and the woman that you're looking at in the mirror, at, back at you in the mirror every morning. Take care and look after yourselves, and uh, we live and we learn.